Okay, so this the next part is uh, easier. Okay, not so not so confusing. Uh. this is the amount of heat in a substance. Okay, so basically, uh, amount of heat in a substance. So when I talk about amount of heat in a substance, uh, I'm not saying so much of the temperature. Basically, I'm asking you how much, really how hot. Okay, what is the hotness? How hot is this substance? Okay, and what changes the amount of heat are two things. Okay. It's always the volume, that's one. The other one is the temperature, okay? We all know that the higher the temperature, of course, the water is going to be hotter, right? Lower the temperature, water is colder. The next new thing that you need to know is the volume as well, all right? So let's look at this example here, okay? So two identical beakers filled with a different volume of water were heated until the water comes to a boil at 100 degrees Celsius here. So there's two beakers with different volume of water and then it comes to a boil at 100 degrees Celsius, okay? So you realize that 100 degrees Celsius means they both have the same temperature, okay? So please take note of that. So this is same, okay, temperature. But do you realize something? They have different volume. Okay, which is why I'm going to write it here. I'm sure you know CV. This is the change variable. The change variable is the volume of water. It is not kept the same. It is recorded that setup B took a longer time for the water to come to a void. Now, Gabriel, what is the measured variable? Can you make your own identification? What is, identify what is the measured variable here? This is something you have to identify yourself based on the experiment. So she recorded how and she realized that setup B took a longer time for the water to come to a boil. So can you tell me what is the measured variable? What is she measuring? The time, the amount of time set B setup B needs to boil. Then you need to talk about setup B. Then how about my setup A? It's not just setup B, right? I have to record both the time, okay, of each water in each setup, right? How long it takes to boil. So what, what is the correct term to use? The time what? The time taken. Time taken for what? For... The water? The water in setup A and setup B to boil. You don't have to say setup A or setup B, you just say in each setup. Better? Okay. The time taken for the water in each setup to boil. Make sense? So your variables must be very clear, okay? When I ask you for measured variable or change variable, it needs to be something that you can measure. It must be very clear. In this case, it's not just setup B, you are measuring both setups. So time taken for the water in each setup to boil. That's it, okay? That's all, very simple. So why, so which setup, okay, do you think has a greater amount of heat and why? Now, um, over here, take note, Setup B took a longer time to boil simply because there is more water, right? You know that setup B has a higher volume. So it makes sense, right? More water naturally will take more time to boil. You, you want to go and test it out, you can go and test it out using a kettle, okay? I'm sure you have a kettle at home. And then you, the first round, you can put very little water. Second round, you put a lot more. You realize that the one with more water will take a much longer time to finish boiling, okay? So that's all. But if I ask you which setup has a greater amount of heat, okay, let me tell you now that one of them has actually more heat, okay? When I say more heat, I'm not saying that different, they have different temperature. Huh? In this case, you know that both the water are at the same temperature, which is 100, 100 degrees Celsius. So in this case, you need to know more volume definitely have more heat, assuming they both are at the same temperature, huh? Okay, so higher volume, naturally, there'll be more amount of heat in the water. Okay, so I will not put the egg inside there. I'll put the egg into setup B. So you'll cook the egg faster because with more heat, the egg will gain more heat as well. All right, so let's, that my egg story aside, let's talk about this question. So we know, again, you got to choose, okay? So I'm going to now include the writing structure in. So which setup has a greater amount of heat? So we all must say it's setup B. Right? So after that, you must always describe. Another term for describe is just give evidence. How do you know it's setup B and not A? So based on the picture, we know that setup B 
has a larger volume right of water very clear because occupy more space also so it has a larger volume of water okay and we can also say the water took a longer time to boil right that was what was mentioned in the question just now and the water uh, took a longer time to boil this is for setup b yeah? then set up a Okay, then we need to explain. Okay, good. So the fact that the water needs a longer time to boil, what does that tell me? Why would there be more heat? Because since the volume of water is so large, all right, obviously the water needs to gain more heat as well, right? In order for it to boil to heat 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, so this means that the water... Okay, this means that more water in set up B needs to gain more heat, okay, from the flame or from the heat source, okay, to increase its temperature to reach 100 degrees Celsius. That's why there will be a greater amount of heat as well. All right. 